Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon and you are watching Israeli News Live. It has begun. We have since, uh, it is now 2.30 in Israel, since uh, a little later than 2.30 now, but uh, since uh, 1 o'clock today, shelling from Hezbollah began with an anti-tank round being fired at a convoy of IDF soldiers moving along the northern border. Israel has been digging in deeper. Israel has returned fire. There were six men that were wounded, according to Israel National News and Channel 2 News in Israel have been both been reporting on this. There was an exchange of fire, Israel returning fire back. Uh, there has also been mortars fired in the northern region of, uh, of the area. Now, Israel's official response to this thus far has been, has been to be said as a warning to Hezbollah that they will retaliate in a much heavier way to, let, to make it clear to Hezbollah they are not playing games. But yet here at Israeli News Live, we are concerned that what Hezbollah is doing is trying to draw Israel's troops to a specific spot and then attack from another spot. And as well, we know that Hamas will also enter into this battle once the battle begins. And nonetheless, if we see that the increased violence from the West Bank also ensues, Israel could certainly have its hands full from every direction with Arabs entering into the battle from all different types of situ areas and situations. Could it be that they're trying to draw the troops of Israel to the north to keep them more preoccupied there while they turn around and launch an attack from the West Bank. Definitely we know that there have been, uh, the Iranian uh, soldiers have been uh, working with Hezbollah through Syria, which also gives them access to the West Bank and getting in through there, cutting across Jordan and coming in through the West Bank there to help in a fight there. Only time will tell exactly how this will escalate. But nonetheless, if there's ever been a time that Israel needs your prayers, it is now. This is the hour that Israel needs prayer, sure enough, because an all-out attack will soon incur. And of course, Israel could hold their own with Hezbollah, but if there's any other forces start ganging into this particular arena, it will take the mercy of God to turn the tide. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.